The United States is still the largest exporter of weapons in the world today. From 2015 to 2019, U.S. weapons exports accounted for 36% of the global total and were 23% higher than in 2010 to 2014. CIPRI, or the Stockholm International Peace Research Institution, reports on the largest weapons exporters and importers every year. The volume of international transfers of major arms in 2015 to 2019 was 5.5% higher than in the previous five-year period, 2010 to 2014, and it was 20% higher than in 2005 to 2009. The five largest exporters in the past five years have been the United States, Russia, France, Germany, and China. These five countries alone were responsible for over 76% of all arms exports in the world. Where are U.S. manufactured weapons going to? The five largest importers were Saudi Arabia, India, Egypt, Australia, and China. Generally, the global north manufactures the weapons and the global south receives the weapons. In the past several decades, we've seen an increase in armed conflict in the global south, and tracking arms exports and imports can explain why this is happening. As many have said in the peace movement, the weapons industry is the last real American industry. In recent years, arms imports by countries in the Middle East have increased by 61%, and it accounted for 35% of the total global arms imports over the past five years. Saudi Arabia has been the world's largest arms importer from 2015 to 2019. Its imports of major arms increased by 130% compared with the previous five-year period, and it accounted for 12% of the global arms imports. Despite the wide-ranging concerns in the U.S. and the United Kingdom about Saudi Arabia's military intervention in Yemen, both the U.S. and the U.K. continued to export arms to Saudi Arabia since the beginning of the Yemen intervention in 2015. A total of 73% of Saudi Arabia's arms imports came from the U.S. alone, and an additional 13% came from the U.K. It should also be noted that Russian weapons exports decreased by 18% in the past several years compared to the previous five-year period. While the Middle East increased their imports by 61%, Europe increased their imports only by 3%. Africa decreased their arms imports by 16%, and Asia decreased their arms imports by 40%. South America has increased their arms by 23%. Now, let's look at the corporations who manufacture the world's weaponry. CIPRI also produces a top 100 arms producing and military services companies every year. Of the top 100 companies, 43 companies are based in the United States. These 43 companies accumulated over $246 billion in the year 2018. Of the top 10 largest weapon manufacturers in the world, the first five companies at the top of the list are U.S. companies. Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Northrop Grumman Corporation, Raytheon, and General Dynamics. Now, European weapons manufacturers accounted for 27 companies in this top 100 list. And Russia only had 10 companies in the top 100 list, and they accounted for $36 billion in 2018. And so, with the U.S. maintaining its dominance in the weapons industry, or the gun-running industry, manufacturing weapons is the last real American industry. As the U.S. empire declines, entering a multipolar world very, very soon, the empire's ruling class will push to make more weapons in order to hold on to their diminishing power.